Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video, we'll have a look at code blocks. Now if you want to write a C code, normally we can write C code for data structures if you want to build an application using C, we have to use certain IDEs, right, or an editor. Normally we can do that with Turbo C++, there are a lot of IDEs available. If you just go on Google and search for different IDEs available for C, it will give you a huge list. In fact, you can write your C code in Eclipse. You can write your C code in NetBeans, you can write your C code in uh, in Visual Studio, or you can use the traditional one, Turbo C++ or Borderline C++. In fact, we have Dev C++. But then nowadays, when one of the IDE which is quite famous for C, which is called as Code Blocks. So we'll go here, we'll search for Code Blocks. And if you search for Code Blocks, this is the website. Uh, they have the awesome logo, by the way, uh, this name itself. Yeah. So if I just click on this code blocks here, the code blocks IDE and if I go down and first of all it is open source and free. Yeah. So if I go to downloads, you can see it will give you the different option. Uh, we want a binary version. Of course, if you want to see the source code as well, you can get the source code, but we don't, we don't want that. So we'll click on binary release here. And now based on which OS you're working with, Maybe you're a Windows lover, you will go for a Windows version. If you're using Linux, you can go for Linux based uh, version here. And if you're using Mac, we also have an option for that. So let's go for the Windows version. So in, the, in Windows, of course, it does support XP. Luckily, if you're using XP, we, we still have some, sof some software available for you. And it supports Windows 10 as well. So if you're using any version in between, it will work. Now out of this five or six, which one to choose? Now, if you already have a compiler with you, normally if you have, let's say if you have Linux and then in Linux, we already have this is a compiler. If you don't want a compiler, if you just want an IDE with you, you can go with the first option. In fact, in, in Windows, if you have, if you already have your uh, compiler, you can still go with the first setup. But then in my machine, I don't have any compiler. So I want code block with a compiler. So I will choose this option, which is min w, uh, gw. Now min gw simply means it's min gnu for Windows. And we'll go for this one. Again, if you have a compiler with you, code block supports different compilers. If you have those with you, you can go with the first one, it will work. I will click on force fog, uh, force, force hub. Yeah. And you can see it will give you an option of download. I will save this. Now it will take some time. I already have a setup with, with me available. So if I go to my windows, so as you can see, I already have a setup here, which is code blocks, uh, 16.01. And I will try to install this. I will double click this. Okay. So it is opening my code blocks and it will try to install now. So again, the traditional steps which we follow will say next, ne agree, next, install. Again, you can customize if you want, but then since you're doing it for the first time, I will, I will say go for the default setup. So it will take some time to install. Okay. So it says, do you want to run code blocks now? I want to say, yes, I want to try it once and we'll click on next, click on finish. Okay, so it will open code blocks now, hopefully. It's taking some time. Okay, so now we got a, we got a window here. This is code blocks. Again, I, or some IDE, if you have worked on different IDEs before, example, if you have worked on Eclipse or Visual Studio or NetBeans, this will look familiar to you, right? We have a section here, which is workspace or the projects where you can create your projects here. And this is the place where you can edit your code. This is where you will get the output. If you are building, if you, you can see the log files and the different stuff. I want to create a new project and uh, re remember I have downloaded the min gw version so it already have a compiler. If you don't have, you have to set up it manually. So let's click on create new project and it will give you lots of options. Uh, I don't want to work with all the stuff. We just want a console application because we want to work with C where we will print the, the output on the console or the terminal for you and I will click on go. Now it will, it will ask you for which version you want to work with. I mean, C or C++. I want to go, go for C. We'll click on next. It will ask you for the project name. I will say a project name is demo. I love that project name, by the way. It's a demo. And it will give you the project name as demo.cbp. We'll click on next. It is asking you for the compiler. Now, if you just drop, click on this, it will give you a huge list of compilers available. Okay, not, not the compiler which are installed, but the options. So you can see it gives you a list here. Unfortunately, I don't have other compilers. I only have GNU GCC compiler in this machine. I will go for this one. If you already have a borderline compiler, you can just connect it and it will work. I will select GC, uh, GCC compiler, click on finish. And we got our compiler and we got a project. You can see we got a demo project here in which you have sources and if in this sources we have main.c 
Now let me just zoom it a bit. Uh, yeah. So you can see we got our code here, which is int uh, main and then printf, simple code. How do we run this code? Uh, if you right click, we don't have any option to run this from here. Maybe we have. Uh, but then the best option would be, you know, we, we have a build option here. So if, if you can click on build here, it is building your project. And then once you have built it, you can simply run this code, click on this run, and you can see we got the output on the inter terminal. Uh, again, so it, we got hello world and it says press continue to con uh, press any key to continue and we press enter and we got the output. Not just simple code, you can write any complex code if you want. The important thing here was to how to set up a code block so that you can write C code. Again, you can write C++ if you choose the other option. Uh, the further sessions on data structures will be based on, will be used, will be using this particular ID, which is code blocks. You can try out your own ID, that's fine, but I'll be using code blocks. Thank you so much for watching everyone.